Live from Nashville, Tennessee, it's the three. With the Studio C Band. And here's your host, Laura Harris Smith. How can I go wrong? I got a great audience, a great band. It's a good day. Welcome to the three, everybody. I'm Laura Harris Smith. This is the only television show that looks at how the crazy current events shaping our world are shaping you, body, mind, and spirit. There is so much good information out there these days that can help you get healthy, but I really think there's too much information out there. It's, it's really overwhelming. Eat this vegetable, dodge that fat, you know, and never, never, never eat these four weird foods. Have you ever had that pop up on your, okay, when you're shopping? So it's so hard to know where to start. And so sometimes you just never do. And before long, you know, you've gained five pounds and then 10 pounds and then 20 or more. And, you know, if you're a mother, look out because life gets busy and schedules get crowded. And before you know it, you don't even recognize yourself. You're looking in the mirror and you're like, who is that? That's my mother or my grandmother or somebody. And it's discouraging. So you have to put yourself First, uh, a lot of times we don't, but you know, we, we, we need to. That's what we need to get in the habit of doing. So they say a woman over the age of 21 starts putting on and keeping on 10 pounds each decade. Now that's a pound a year. So they say you will weigh 10 pounds more at 30 than you did at 20, and 20 pounds more once you reach 40 and at 50, that means you're potentially 30 pounds heavier than you have ever been. And look out, guys, shut your ears, okay? Menopause is just around the corner and that might even make things worse. It affects your mothering, your daughtering, your wifing, and yes, it even affects youing. You're youing, right? There's a you. This cycle seems impossible to get out of, but my guests today, have a solution. They are mothers, beautiful mothers, whose bodies were in an absolute mess until they turned to the Bible for dietary advice. Yep, just the Bible. It's really an amazing story. And through that, Trim Healthy Mama was born. Trim Healthy Mama is a healthy eating lifestyle and the brainchild of Serene and Pearl, two young women who went through much, much personal trial and error to form the plan they've made now famous. Guys, it's famous, you're gonna love it. And their book, Trim Healthy Mama, has already sold more than 100,000 copies. They have their own nutritional line of health products and even a new retail store. And they're authors, wives, mothers, entrepreneurs, publishers, and most importantly, their sisters. Please everyone, welcome Pearl and Serene to the three. <laughs> Serene and Pearl, all right? Just to keep this straight. Serene, right before we went on, you said something. You said, I have a grandchild who whatever I didn't hear anything after you said that you have a grandchild yes and you're pregnant again and look at you you she looks like you're you look like you're and in your 20s. she is a grandmother in, in a week yeah in a week in, really? a, in a two weeks okay yeah, and she's got three weeks to go just three weeks it's amazing so, yeah. well you don't look at any other way around except for the glowing joy on your face I can tell that you really enjoy mothering I just want to start right there actually tell me about your family mine yes Oh, well, it's just beautifully chaotic. <laughs> it's loud and bustling with a bunch of energy, but it's just, it's just the best. I feel so blessed mm. because each child has just brought so much flavor, characteristic, yes, yes. and we're just never bored. Well, that is never. I can say that. <laughs> you have how many children? Uh, this is number nine biological, and then we adopted five. So it'll wow. be 14 once little Bubba comes into the world. Oh my goodness. So it's a, a boy? I don't know. You Just don't a Bubba. Know. I, you know, that's a New Zealand way of saying <laughs> baby. 
Yeah, Aww. Bubba. And here, I think in the south, Bubba is like a big guy. Yeah. But, yeah. but <laughs> it's like he doesn't look really big, Serene. But, so <laughs> but down under, Bubba is a sweet baby. Aww. Yeah. Aww. All right, how about you? Tell me about your family. I have such a small family of five children. So. <laughs> yeah. Nah. Okay, and then back it up a generation. You come from a large family. We do. Tell, yes. tell me about that. That that clan is pretty wonderful too. Well, um, so we're we're two, the last two of mm -hmm. six children, and then once we all grew up and started having children of our own, our parents adopted more and from Africa, <laughs> and so. Well, we really feel like God opened up this platform for Trim Healthy Mama. Um, it's really. A, kind of a joke because we could never say anything growing up because mm. we had these big boisterous brothers and and, and we talk, yeah, we're louder yeah. older sisters. Our, our, our brother six foot eight and you know we're almost six foot but I'm the run to the family at five ten and so we could never get a she word had in this little squeak Aww. voice and at the dinner table you know dad would have to stand up and say let the little one speak and still we never had a chance. So maybe that's just why God's opened up this platform. Now we can say something. Yeah. Okay, so my daughter Georgie, I hope she's hearing that. She is our little tiny petal sandwiched in between three loud boys. Yes. And so you just you just spoke hope to her. Um, okay, so Trim Healthy Mama. What a, I mean, it's a phenomenon. It's a revolution. But tell me where it started because it started out of a lot of pain and desperation. Why don't yes. you go first? Sorry. Yeah, well, I, I'm a little bit extreme. With, with everything <laughs> a I <little>. do. <laughs> so, you know, I, I had tried everything, trying to find, you know, the perfect diet to, for me and for my husband and to raise my children on. And so I think I'd gone through nearly everything psycho to do, you know. <laughs> and I'd ended up at the point where we started Trim Healthy Mama, um, finishing a seven year stint of complete raw food veganism, you wow. know, where I didn't even have a taste test at Costco, you know. Of wow. coffee. Uh, yeah. no, nothing, nothing. Nothing. But, you know, I had teeth crumbling out of my mouth, you know, because I had wow. been nursing and pregnant on just yeah. plant food alone. And uh, it wasn't enough to, to nourish or sustain me. But I was just so dumb. But, but I thought that I had reached <laughs> the pinnacle of what the wisdom of man was saying was, you have reached as far as you can go with health, mm. you know. <laughs> and so, but I was feeling rotten, you know. I felt like my whole skeletal structure was just kind of like probably yeah. the babies were eating all the calcium off me and <laughs> anyway, and, and I went over to Pearl's house and I'm like Pearl I'm just so done I feel like you know everybody says that I should be the picture of health but I, I just secretly I feel like awful mm. and um and I got all my books and all my <laughs> health books and I hit them off the deck. Off the deck, yeah. The same place I got my husband to hit our oven off the deck a few years before. Because I'm like, <laughs> okay, we're just having nine dehydrators in our house. Forget this <laughs> oven, this cooked food, food thing. Wow. And uh, so I hiffed off all the books off the deck. I'm like, I don't even want to take them to Goodwill because they so derailed me. And I went to Pearl's Amazing. house. And she's like, we just got to get back to the Bible. Mm. And yes. Pearl, tell yeah. them what we found. I mean, I had beautiful. my own story. I'm not as extreme as her. I'm, I'm, I'm just like the lazy person. I don't want to spend time dehydrating and doing the raw food and juicing <laughs> carrots. I'm way too lazy for that. But I wanted to find a good way to feed my family. And, you know, and, you know I, had, I had a little weight problem going and I wanted to trim down. And so I tried mm. everything, the low carb, the high carb, the mm. vegetarian, mm -hmm, the no fat. Mm -hmm. And all the books that say, this is the way to eat. No, right. don't eat that. That will kill you. Don't eat that. And, and then I was so done. I, I had female issues. I had migraines. Mm. I, I had to have a nap in every afternoon. I'm like, wow. look at what all this so-called wisdom has brought to me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I was a mess. Wisdom. Yeah. All the wisdom. So, <laughs> so, we, went, it wasn't wisdom, so we went right. to the Word of God and it was just so eye-opening because we, we <laughs> came across the scripture in Deuteronomy, so poetic. And it talked about every food group. It was like, yeah. I give you the herb of the field, the blood of the grape, the fat of the ram, the milk of the goat. And it went through all of them, mm. the harvest of the field. And I was like, wow, it's, it's including everything. Mm -hmm. and, and all the other unsustainable approaches, we had to take something out. Right. And we're like, right. you, you mean we can see everything as a gift? You know, despite <laughs> from, you know, there's allergies, it's a fallen world. Right. Some I people have say, to go off things yes, for seasons. Yes. But it was a very big leap of faith. Because, you know, the books and the gurus tell you, well, don't eat that, it will do that to you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But then it was right there in the Bible saying, mm -hmm. and these are the meats that you shall eat. Mm -hmm. It didn't say, well, it's sort of second best, and, you know, if you have yeah, to eat right, them, you, just If you're going to do it, make sure it's organic. No, yeah, I get like it. It was like, you I get shall, it. and there it was, and it was like, we can take this leap of faith and trust God. Can we do it? Mm -hmm. And then when 
you know, the story about, you know, when the, the angels came yeah. and they fed them the butter of kind, like butter. Yeah. Butter. butter, and we're like, it sounds so much better when us. she says it. Butter, butter. <laughs> All right, they have a book that we can't wait to talk about, but we have to come back to the next segment. So stay put. All right, stay close, everybody. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching the three. But you know, it dawned on me that I really need to officially introduce myself to many of you, even though I've been in television for 50 years. My parents put me in my first commercial at age three, and that path carried me all the way to the Shop at Home TV network where I was a host. I'm a wife of 34 years to Chris, a mom to six adult children, and a grandmother to eight so far. I'm an author of, goodness, over 20 books and eBooks, and whatever I write, you can count on the fact that it will help you physically, emotionally, and spiritually because my passion is body, mind, and spirit health. I'm a certified nutritionist with a degree in original medicine. And my husband and I pastor a phenomenal church in Nashville called Eastgate Creative Christian Fellowship, where we help people get healthy body, mind, and spirit. So if you're ever in the Nashville area, I hope you'll stop in and say hi. You know, God had a son, but what he wanted was a family. So he sent Jesus to come and get us. Likewise, I had a TV career, but what I really want is a TV family. As you can tell by now, I have always had one foot in media and one foot in ministry and it's all collided now on The Three. So please become a part of The Three's family. Visit the link on your screen to give a tax-deductible gift and help me purchase airtime that takes this fun, relevant, faith-based show to a faithless world. Some TV ministries would then call you a donor or a partner, but I'm gonna call you family. Go to the link and become a part of my TV family today. I can't do it without you. Thanks. Hi everybody. You know, I'm very sympathetic to people struggling with chronic sicknesses, especially neurological issues, because as a young girl, I was diagnosed with epilepsy, and I used to have a constant electrical storm in my brain, which would cause horrible convulsions. Well, those decades of suffering combined now with my degree in nutrition and my growing respect for essential oils and the amazing healing properties God put in them on the third day of creation, compelled me to create my very own oil blend called Quiet Brain. Quiet Brain is different than any blend I've ever seen because it's comprised of oils whose special composition is sesquiterpenoids, and they can cross the blood-brain barrier, which not all neurological medicines and not even all essential oils can do. But Quiet Brain's eight ingredients, frankincense, myrrh, sandalwood, lavender, and more, do. Our case study resulted in testimonies of considerable relief, elimination, at the very least support for PTSD, insomnia, migraines, stress, anxiety, seizures, and more. These aren't medical claims. Everybody's body varies and so your results will vary, but they are testimonies that cannot be argued with. So go to quietbrainoil.com for our patent pending oil. It comes in a roller bottle, a dropper bottle, which is great for diffusing, and there you'll also find our nasal inhalers, candles, shampoo and conditioner, and even our gift box with all the products, plus a diffuser. And download the free ebook while there to understand the science behind Quiet Brain. Again, that's quietbrainoil.com. Welcome back to the three, everybody. I'm Laura Harris Smith, and I am really excited to have these two on myself. I wanted to meet them for a very long time and have these discussions with them. Trim Healthy Mama is here, Serene and Pearl. And you, before the break, are telling us the story of how. You really got into this whole, it was out of desperation. But your very first book, this is your fourth, okay? Trim Healthy Mama, The Trim Healthy Table. But I want you to go back to the beginning, to the very first book. What were you thinking when you were writing it, you know? I mean, well, we had, you know, come to this realization that we could eat all these food groups that God had given us. And then, but then we started eating them. And I started growing out of my clothes because I'm like, oh, <laughs> butter, oh, rice, yeah, you know. Cream and banana, <laughs> stick it together. Yeah. <laughs> and so it was great. I started feeling great, yeah. you know, but um, I, I developed a weight problem and, and we were like, but hold on, surely God <laughs> wouldn't lie to us. See, we could eat all this yeah. and then we just sort of grow stout and fat, yes. you know. And so <laughs> then we really just studied about the way our bodies metabolize mm -hmm. food. And we really there you go. Yeah. when it comes to health. We just love to get dorky with the science. So we got dorky. really deep. We got <laughs> yeah. deep and we figured, yes, we can eat carbs. Yes, mm -hmm. we can eat fat, but let's do it in a way that is smart for our body. That's right. We figured this out and then we decided you know, to share it just with friends and family. And so it started working for them. And then they started oh, yeah. telling other people, we just kept getting calls and emails and 
all writing we were, it out on like little pieces of paper and handing it out, and we're just like, and all we were doing all day is telling this. people how to do this thing that had worked for us. It's easier and, to write a book. Yeah, we just let it talk for you. And that's why it was so huge, six hundred and something pages. Because we're like, you know what? If somebody comes to us with a question, we're just going to say, go to three hundred, yep. page three hundred and fifty-two. You know, it'll be there. But, but the joke was on us. Yeah, because <laughs> there's still questions. But we didn't know. You know, we we just self-published a the thing. There were spelling errors. We didn't know what we were doing. We spelled pizza pizza for goodness sake. You know, yeah. we just. But somehow oh it just it got out there and it resonated. You know, we 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 never spent a, a cent on advertising. It just started wow. to grow, and and then we realised what it's it's a New York Times bestseller. How There's did that so happen? People, we're living out there in the woods with our chickens and and mooing cows and children running crazy. And somebody calls. Do you know your book's a New York Times bestseller? We're like. How do you get on the New York no, Times? We yeah, don't know. No, no, no. Got that. <laughs> that is the perfect word, resonate. Something resonates with people uh, when they have a need in their life. Mm -hmm. And just from sitting here with you these few minutes, you've made believers, I think I can speak everyone, that, that it wasn't some genius that you had. No. It was out of a need. Yeah. And that is, a lot of times we teach what we need to learn. Yeah. I think so, and you so know? many people were like us. We're so done. Yeah. Uh, just <laughs> at that stage where it's like, don't tell me one more thing that's right. confusing and conflicting. There's right. too much out yeah, there. Can it just be doable? And Can it be simple? Yeah, don't tell me another thing I have to take out of my diet. <laughs> and don't give me another unsustainable, miserable <laughs> approach to food. Because we love food. Yes, we well, love most people do. I think yeah. we were made to love food. Yes. So I heard you talk about uh, living, or I heard a, a video, living in Dunn, or you were... Yeah. Dunville. Dunville, yeah, it's, it's yes. Like a town. I'm done. Yeah. I'm totally done. All right, well, on to the current book. Trim Healthy Table. This is so beautiful. It's such a beautiful book. Look at all the colors. So talk to me about this. I know it's it's more than a cookbook, so so talk to me. Well, I, I think, you know, our, our plan started resonating with women at first, and they shared it with their friends, and they shared it with mm -hmm. their friends. But then somehow, you know, it trickled into their family. Like husbands started to come on plan. <laughs> this is like man food. Mm -hmm. And then whole families started trimming down together, wow. churches, communities. Yeah. It sort of mm -hmm. took on its own life, and so we got asked for hey, can you just give us more recipes that yeah. a whole family can do together? That's family amazing. friendly and, and And doable mm -hmm. quick, because everyone's too busy. Mm -hmm. Everyone's mm -hmm. life is chaotic. And we were like, let's just, let's get dinner on the table in 20 minutes. Like, yeah. food that you'd already normally yeah. eat, but let's make it trimming and healthy. You're resonating yes. again. Yes. It's happening. Comfort yeah. food. <laughs> we just wanted to celebrate the all-American comfort food. Yeah. It's not just going to be like sprouted lentil pilaf or something weird. You know, it's just like real. <laughs> yeah, we want lasagna. We want pizza. We want a skillet meal that you can slap together, you know, because it's just, otherwise it's too and hard and not sustainable. And chocolate cake. Yeah, because we chocolate fight cake. chocolate with chocolate. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so tell us about the, the S meals and the E meals, and you've got these all coded. This is so neat. Yeah, but I oh, think it's really easy. Yeah, we really. didn't find that in the Bible. No, we don't. We don't pretend we found S <laughs> in the Bible. <laughs> but we did find carbs and fat in the Bible. We yes. just call it S. We just call it S because it's satisfying. Because you know, fats are so satisfying. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yes, Low they fat. Are. Ooh. Low fat is not it's good like, for your brain. No, it's not. We've got a whole generation of people now that because of the low fat diets and the cholesterol, the statins, mm. they are robbing their bodies yes. of that, that fat is so important to the brain yes. and to the myelin. And if we don't have the right amount of cholesterol, everybody thinks high cholesterol. They've got this number, they've averaged out all these unhealthy sick people and come up with this number we all have to stay under when the truth is you need cholesterol to make your hormones, you need it to be healthy yes. all over. That's it was so it. interesting because, you know, here in the in America, you, you've this big kind of dogma uh, you know, low fat, low mm -hmm, fat. Mm -hmm. But when I adopted from Africa, my, my daughter, she came at 14. Wow. And she was not under any of the influence of the, the diet addicted <laughs> crats. And um, she was just like, oh, can I suck on that yummy uh, meat bone? She's like, oh, I taste the grease. Oh, I love the grease. Oh, I my love goodness. that. And she was complimenting over it. And it was, I was like, oh, but maybe I should drain it off a little more. And she goes, oh, no, no, no. And it was so delicious <laughs> to her. And she just didn't know that it was... She didn't, it wasn't meant to be bad to her. And mm. I learned through her, through her eyes, just how but, natural the instinct is mm. to crave fat. But, it, but you know, the other thing is right now, it's so trendy right now to be the other way where carbs are the evil thing. That's so like, true. It, take the carbs out. So true. And that has, that proved to be a really popular diet, but then I heard that the, the maker of it actually yeah. died. Well, yeah. your adrenals so and thyroid just tank. They're going to tank. Yeah, ta you, we need exactly carbs right. for our thyroid. And so, yes, so the E in our meals are carb meals, but we do the gentle carbs. Mm -hmm. You know, we learn to just keep our blood sugar balanced, and that's what our plan's about. And, and stands so, for energy. 
Well, Both carbs and fats are in there, and that's why we need them and we love them. Th and we there are some people them. who are saying, where are carbs and fats in the Bible? So we'll talk about that yeah. when we come back. Stay close, everybody. <laughs> Hey, what do you think of when I ask about your health? Probably just your diet, weight, or a sickness. But health involves so much more than just the body. You also have a spirit and a mind that need nourishing, and the Healthy Living Handbook is going to do just that. It contains a top 10 list of healthy living habits for your spirit, where we'll discuss your prayer life, the Holy Spirit, things you may be substituting for God and not even know it. Then section two contains a top 10 list for your mind. I'm gonna help you get organized, deal with stress, help you laugh more, and never be discouraged again. There's even a relationship quiz there that helps you make sure the people in your life are the right ones. Then in section three, there's a top 10 list for your body. We'll study the three biggies, meat, wheat, and sweet, and other things like weight loss, water consumption, and there's even my essential oils list that tells you which oils help the top 50 common household ailments. Go to lauraharrissmith.com and get your copy of the Healthy Living Handbook today. What if there was a reset button for your body, mind, and spirit? There is! I wrote the 30-Day Faith Detox so you could cleanse your body, renew your mind, and heal your spirit. There are 30 daily devotionals to confront emotional residues from past trials, what I call faith toxins, prayers to refresh your spirit, and then through yummy strategic foods, each of your 15 body systems are cleansed for a total body detox. People are losing weight and gaining faith. Go to lauraharrismith.com today to get your copy of the 30-Day Faith Detox. We're back with Trim Healthy Mama, and they said something right before the break about carbs and fats being in the Bible, and I heard everybody in the place go, what? So I want you to tell us about that, exactly where that is. It's in Deuteronomy, but I yes. mean the portion is, yes. what was it saying? Well, it said um, the fat of the ram, mm -hmm. yeah. that would be saturated fat. Yes, <laughs> that is. Yeah. correct. <laughs> and then um, the... The harvest of the field. Mm -hmm. So you've Which got your grains. Yeah, you yeah, know. Mm -hmm. That's right. We don't come from grok. grok. You know, you know, it's a whole big trendy <laughs> thing like, you know, grain. We're not supposed to eat grains, but mm. of course, modern grains are modern pretty grains crazy. Are yeah. so Ancient good. grain is what, is what we celebrate. And, and then the mama. blood of the mm. grape fruit. That's a car. Mm -hmm. And in Song of Solomon, refresh me with apples. Yeah. And then I think mm. in the Proverbs it talks about having enough goat's milk for the maintenance of the maidens. And that Ma maintenance, maintenance word more, really yeah. struck me. Because maintenance in the Hebrew actually means refresh, mm -hmm. refresh mm -hmm. your body. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I know some people can't tolerate dairy, but, but you know, dairy's in the Bible too. Mm -hmm. So unless you have a sensitivity or an allergy, we're all about, we're all about the things that people have been eating for thousands of years. And just right. enjoying the gift that our Creator has given and us. And God gave us these things. Yes. Man is the one who has polluted it or yes. genetically modified yeah. it or, or whatever. That's a whole other conversation. It is. But yes. I love that. I just, I, I wanted you to mention that Deuteronomy passage again. All right. So. You guys have, over the course of, how many, how many years have you been doing this? Like, when was this? Give us some reference that you uh, first started. The, the, our first book came out five years ago. This has been a yes. whirldwind. Yeah. Yes. And it took us five years to write. Yes. So There's hardly any <laughs> oh, academic oh, It totally crazy. did. We had, we had yeah. children oh. like... Running around, like all of mine and all of hers mm -hmm. in one house. We'd do it in the summer when we were taking a break from homeschooling. Okay. But running around together, stucking ra raisins up their noses and, you know, <laughs> so then, chaos. So then you wrote it together yes. and you wrote it in... How long did it take you to write it? Five like, years. Curious. It took five years yes. to write it? You weren't kidding? No. no. Five years. Five oh years. my God. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, it worked. Every word was, was ingenious. So then how long until you saw results in your own bodies? Now, I know you did that before the book, but how yeah. long from the time that you began to implement well, these biblical yes. principles did you see change? Well, this is, I mean, health-wise, we just started feeling it every month. But, you know, I didn't have a, a lot to lose. And we'll talk about that story, right, too. Yes, but let's do it. Um, this is not a fast weight loss thing where you're going to see 30 pounds in 30 days. Mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. we don't make big promises. It's a lifestyle. But it, it just started melting in a Aww. natural way. Well, there's you know? a scripture in the Bible that we love too, that He gently leads those with young. And we really mm. didn't want to put anything on anybody or ourselves that was just kind of like whipping you into mm -hmm. shape. Mm -hmm. You know those boot camp approaches? Yeah, we because as mothers, you know, we've got a lot of children to care for, sleepless nights, you know, we're not about the big boot camp. And boot camps, they, ca they can't sustain pregnancies. They can't, you can't create good nursing. Not only that, nursing. not only, <laughs> right, I was going to say, you can't, if you're sustaining a life afterwards, if you're nursing, I mean, you need to eat healthy. Yeah. And you, but sometimes we get so caught up 
in that fad, that fad diet or boot camp, as you're saying, and we will, we'll lose the weight. So you'll lose the weight, you'll look fine on the outside, and meanwhile, your insides are withering. So, so anything you do, fast yes. or long term, or, you know, if you'll do it God's way, if you'll do it the healthy way, it will have great yes. results. And I think that's what started resonating is we got stories. I've lost a hundred pounds. <laughs> we, 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 our mouths would drop every day. These it's stories amazing. just started coming in, but we didn't know our plan would do that. We didn't, we didn't mm -hmm. know what would happen with this. We had no idea <laughs> at the hundreds of thousands of testimonies that just started mm. coming in and it blew us away and it continues to do so. Mm. And your social media. I, I mean, you, you humbly said you didn't know anything about social media. We well, I'm telling you, it's social media knows all about you. <laughs> oh, well. So you That's inspired. our mamas. That's the people yeah. that right. have done this. It's not us at all. Yeah. Well, there's, yeah. we're back to the resonating word again. So I want you to give people the website. I want you to, to tell them when they go to your, to your website, what are they going to find and what should they do? Well, it's www.trimhealthymama.com. And, and there, you know, you can... Grab the book. Yeah. With this, you, you don't even need products. You don't need a coach. You don't need anything <laughs> yeah. but tools of information. And this book, we've got it in one chapter. And then we've got all these recipes to get you going. And so you can shop at any grocery yeah. store. We have a lot of fun special ingredients that you can order from us. But we, we didn't start doing that. No. And nobody needs to do it. And you can even just get the book from the library. Yeah, there you, go. you don't want the money, do that. <laughs> there you go. But, but, but just, just grab these tools because it can change the course of your life and, the, mm -hmm. and your children's life. Yes, it absolutely can. You all are a living testimony. You've got 14 children between you. Well, now, actually, no, you 19. have the 19, but I'm sorry. We have our, our and then how many grandchildren? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. There how are two husbands to this story. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we can't leave them out. <laughs> so how many grandchildren, grandchildren do you have? Uh, um, six. Yes. And then you have their first I'm on my the way. first grandchild. But I cheated, here in two know, weeks. I adopted older than my birth order. So. Did you? You did not cheat. That's funny. So did you have in your growing up years, did you have this same thing, the same kind of dietary? Like, did you grow up eating healthy? Yeah. 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 I was so this, like an original granola mom. So then you, yeah. after you became adults, you went yes. through the, the veganism Absolutely. and all of that. Okay. It was when wow. we sort of got on our own and started reading and adopting this person's yes. ideas and that yes. person's ideas and what the latest diet books had to say. Mm. That's what messed us up, actually. Yeah. Wisdom of man messes you <laughs> up every time. Well, you know, there are a lot of people, and I'm one of them, you mean so well, you try so hard to help people. If we don't, and I'm speaking as a nutritionist, if we do not center everything on God's Word, it's going to have maybe some, you know, results, but not yeah. long lasting results. So one of the things I love about the two of you is that you have given us a way to have long lasting results. I can't thank you enough for being here today. Um, TrimHealthyMama.com. Go to it. You can read more about Serene and Pearl and their wonderful story and their king size family. It's all wonderful. Great. So thank you so much for being with us on The Three. And I hope that you will join us next time. More guests like this because we're always looking out for your body, mind and spirit. Mm -hmm.